Hi, and welcome to part three of Body Waxing Academy. I'm Shanika, your instructor. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, please go ahead and check out parts one and two, and then meet me back here for live demos on how to pick up and scoop wax and spread wax in your wax suites for part three. As always, if you guys are enjoying this content, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you. Without further ado, let's just hop into the video. The first step to waxing is knowing how to control your wax stick. You're going to find a comfortable way to hold it, and then you're going to twirl your wax stick forward or backwards. Whichever way works better for you but you're going to do this motion over and over continuously until you are comfortable with twirling your wax stick. This is how you're going to hold your wax stick in the air from the wax pot to the client. So do this motion over and over until you're comfortable. I like to do it backwards. You can do it forward, but you're going to practice this motion over and over again. Next, you're going to take the wax stick and you're going to scoop your wax out Using that same motion, you're going to twirl the wax stick so that the wax stays on the stick. So you're going to scoop the wax and twirl. Let's try again. You're going to scoop the wax and twirl. This is how you ensure that your wax stays on your wax stick. You do not want your wax falling. You have to make sure that the wax is the right consistency. The consistency of the wax is honey. Okay, hold it up, twirl it. It's not falling because the wax is the perfect amount of temperature. Next, you're gonna hold it in the air and twirl. Figure out a comfortable position for you frontward or backward I like to throw my wax stick backwards now you're going to release the wax twirling it and then spread okay let's try it again you're going to remove that wax stick strip, release the wax, twirl it, one, two, spread. Be sure to create your lip, extend the wax as much as the hair goes and make sure you extend the wax past the hair. You're going to continue this practice over and over until you feel comfortable with twirling the wax in the air, releasing it off on the paper, and spreading it to make your lip. Then you're going to try it upward. This is a cleanup strip. We always do our cleanup strips in the opposite directions. To master wax, you need to be one with your formula. It means knowing its application, temperature, consistency, and how it moves and spreads and cools on the skin. When picking up wax, you want to ensure that you scoop the wax. So you want to make sure that your stick is going down in the wax in a downward motion, scooping it up. And then once you get the wax on the stick, you want to twirl it backwards. So let's try it again. Scoop the wax, pick it up on your stick. Once you get it up on your stick, you're going to twist it in a backwards motion. This is going to ensure that the wax stays on the stick until you're ready to spread it. The 
The correct consistency of the wax should be like honey. This wax here is too hot for the skin. If your wax is runny and falls off the stick very quick, you should not be waxing your client with this wax. Hard wax usually takes about 30 minutes to heat and it is applied at 37 degree, between 37 and 45 degrees Celsius. If you are using larger quantities of wax, you might wanna wait a little bit longer for it to heat. This is the correct consistency of your wax. It should be like honey, hold it up for three seconds, and as long as it doesn't fall off the stick, you're ready to go. This is the amount of wax that you wanna hold on your stick for small strips, like a underarm or a Brazilian. This is the amount of wax you want on your stick for a cleanup strip. So this is how a cleanup strip should spread, nice and thin. And you wanna be able to slightly see through it. But that's all the amount of wax that you would need for a cleanup strip. When applying larger areas like a leg or an arm or a back, this is the amount of wax you want on your stick. You want to be able to pick up a really big comb and spread it nice and evenly. This is how you ensure to get your wax strips longer and thicker. This will be your typical like underarm strip or stomach strip or even a Brazilian strip. These are the type of strips that you want for smaller areas. And this strip right here is gonna be a cleanup strip going in the opposite direction, in the upward. Again, making sure that you can slightly see through the wax because you're not picking up a lot of hair and that's your cleanup strip. 